You know, I promised myself I'd make more 40k content. Then just today, for the very first time in American history, first time a sitting Speaker of the House was voted out of his seat by a majority rule. That majority being all Democrats and exactly eight Republicans, which is what it took to remove the Republican Speaker of the House, while every other Republican voted against it. Great job, conservatives. Really, uh, really, really a win for the party there. As of today, the United States is currently without a Speaker of the House. And just to put that into context for anyone who is, um, well, I know I have a lot of European viewers. If the president gets killed, the vice president becomes president. And below them is Speaker of the House. That is a very high ranking seat to just be left vacant with no real plans on who's gonna fill it or when it's gonna get filled. Uh, government shutdown looming on top of that, just as a nice little garnish. Uh, it's not a great situation. And for those of you who are sitting there saying, yeah, fuck the government. Well, I hate to inform you of this, but I am here to reign all over your parade. Because shocking though it may seem, the government does do stuff. And leaving high ranking positions just vacant is bad. Especially when there's like 200 years of that position never being vacant, and now suddenly it is. That's a lot of chaos. I was watching the NBC news coverage of the event as it was happening, and Peter Alexander noted at one point that he remembered this article from like 10 years ago about the GOP's young guns. Essentially the, the new fresh blood that was gonna come in and revolutionize the party, bring it into the 21st century. I think some of those may have been their, their exact words actually. So I went and found that article and I, I did read it, or at least most of it, and I have to say it was pretty interesting, even if it feels like it was just written by the candidates themselves. Published in 2013, it details how three young Republicans plan to move past the policies of Barack Obama, lead the world into the future, lead the Republican Party into the 21st century. And what happened to the three young guns? Well, one of them was Paul Ryan, no longer in politics. He voluntarily quit in the middle of the Trump era. Another was Eric Castor, who, Oh, who, while the House Majority Leader ran for re-election in his own seat, in his own state, against a candidate he outspent 40 to 1 and lost. <laughs> Hard. And you may have guessed that the third was none other than our own Speaker McCarthy. Oh wait, I, I'm to I totally forgot about that. Former Speaker Kevin McCarthy. To use a line from the Young Guns own advertisements, they are ready to make history. Kevin McCarthy has certainly done that today, but it's sad because this is just, this is the cycle that conservatives are stuck in now. You get this batch of young, fresh-faced Republicans who are gonna lead us in the 21st century, who understand the world as it is, and then they get completely decimated as soon as there's blood in the water because everybody knows they're the same college elite douchebags and no one has any actual sympathy for them within the party. But then they get replaced with a bunch of crazies. Like, just take Eric Castor's election as an example. He was defeated by Dave Bratt, a Tea Party representative who was widely mocked within his own state. <laughs> and after being mocked relentlessly at town halls, he eventually lost to the Democrats because of course he did. And we just can't keep doing this anymore. The conservatives can't keep having hypocritical college elite douchebags in office, getting them replaced inevitably with crazies who don't know what they're doing because then the Democrats come along and just sweep the board afterward. And it's pretty apparent that's what they plan to do to Congress. Paul Ryan actually popped out of the woodwork in the last month or so and said himself, he does not think Trump can beat Biden if he wins the Republican nomination. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. As someone who voted Democrat for many years, I, I firmly, firmly believe in their ability to fuck this up. But even if Trump wins, even if Trump wins the election and Republicans get another four years of cultural relevancy, is it gonna matter? All they seem able to do is just elect crazy people. And they're also making populism look bad while they're at it, but that's a different issue, different video. Fundamentally, if conservative values are going to exist, and that goes whether Trump wins or not, he can only stay in office for four years. Whether Trump wins or not, if conservative values are going to survive, the party needs to actually 
reform. They need to actually understand what the wider American people want and not double down on a small and rapidly aging voter base that was already decimated by COVID. What reforms do they need to take? Well, I guess that's gonna be the subject of the next couple of videos. I planned on covering more Warhammer 40k content, but this is where we are now. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment down below. It does help to get this video promoted with others in the algorithm. If you want to see it promoted, that's up to you. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for making it this far. And I'll see you guys in the next one.